Now I know I have a pretty good memory of this place for some strange reason. There's a hall. Okay. Didn't, didn't remember that. Hello and welcome back everyone to episode 10 of that one playthrough of Skyrim. I am Kyle and we are here in Iverstead finally. We made it here the last episode after a long trek. Got a little sidetracked of course as I usually do. As a side note, somebody told me I was sick and I have brown rot so light and heavy armor prevents 25% less damage. Which sucks and I don't know uh... I don't know if there's anywhere to heal around here if there's a shrine. So... That's a little upsetting. We are hungry, so let's make sure we top off the food real quick. Before I forget. Ah oh, yes, a uh, horker loaf for breakfast. Sounds fantastic. And the first thing we want to do today is the Shroud Hearth Barrow. We were told by the innkeeper last episode, before we went to bed in his lovely inn, uh, that there is a haunting going on here. And as someone who is a professional in exterminating the dead, as well as dealing with uh, potential necromancer situations, feel like I am the best candidate for the job. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything around here to loot outside, so we're just gonna go ahead and make our way into Shroud Hearth Barrow. And... I know I need to charge my axe here, but uh, I don't think I actually have any working... Uh, soul stones. Um... Once again, these are all like offerings. I really want that to see if it's got anything in it. The other thing I've been thinking about is uh, I haven't been using Soul Trap, and at first I kind of thought maybe that's not very pallid and need to capture the souls of the dead and put them inside of a trapped little stone. But uh, I'm not doing it to people, I would do it to animals. So with that in mind, I think I might actually look for the Soul Trap spell at some point. And, uh, oh, yep, yeah, we got a ghost here. So, as we can tell by the power of subtitles and our psychic subtitly powers that we have, I guess, that is Wendelius, the guy who we were told came in here. And, uh, oh, no, not gonna take your gold. Sorry, sorry, dead people. Uh, Wendelius came in here at one point and then never returned, so Wendelius is apparently a ghost. And uh, we'll explore further and see what's going on. Before the Ages of Man, let's see what this does. Illusion. Okay, so not, uh, not particularly useful to us, um, but we need to get that gate down there open. So I know we just gotta play with some... Nope, that is not the one we want. Maybe if we do the other one. Nope, that's wrong too. How about this? Nope, that's wrong. Let's flip this one. And that poisons me. Oh, geez. Okay. So either that specific lever is the poison lever, or I just screwed up too many times. So let's do that one. And then, uh... Okay, that one makes him flip. So now maybe if I just do this... Yep, there we go. Okay. Easy. Peasy lemon squeezy. Just keep moving right along. This is a pretty, uh... A fa fairly small, um dungeon if I if I remember correctly oh let's see what's in here I guess and at the very least get our whoa okay all right there's a button there it's doing the stabby stabbies got it you know we just got to make sure that Genesis yeah Genesis is just gonna stand on it indefinitely cool all right um, once again these are all offerings um, mm, ooh, scroll of mayhem would be pretty cool to take but uh, Ow! What? Ah. This place has got some serious booby traps. Gotta keep my uh, wits about me. Heal up real quick and... Careful, Genesa. There's things that can murder you in here. This is like the Indiana Jones nightmare. Alright. Now I know... I have a pretty good memory of this place for some strange reason. There's a ho Okay. Didn't, didn't remember that. Is that just gonna go indefinitely? Okay. Does it go again? There's a hall of stories here, and one of the locked doors that takes a dragon claw. Now we don't have the dragon claw. We'll uh, we'll figure out why or where that is rather shortly. So Wendelius senses a presence, and now he's yep he's gonna start shooting us with stuff, and. 
Genesis, you just gotta get in there. We, we've been through this before. Alright, let's grab this. Let's get a couple of good smacks on him. That actually didn't hurt too bad. Let's make sure we bring up our shield, though. Give a bash, big power attacks. Yeah, we got some good hits in here now. Give another bash, and as we defeat him, we notice he turns into a normal body. Oh, he's got a giant's toe. I'm gonna go ahead and eat the giant's toe and learn damage stamina and then filter the phantom. So this essentially tells you why he was uh, all ghosty and stuff. So he had potions that turned him uh, spectral for 30 seconds, I guess. Staff of Zombies. Reanimate a weak dead body to fight for you. Okay, well, that's not something that fits in my repertoire, but we'll take this. We'll take the soul gem. I'm gonna take the Staff of Zombies just to sell it. It's uh, got some value to it. I am unable to run, apparently. Okay. I forgot how insanely over encumbered I was from the last episode, and I'm afraid to give Genesa the Staff of Zombies, because if she raises a zombie, I feel like I've failed the entire playthrough. Alright, so I gave Genesa a few miscellaneous objects. I was about four pounds overweight, so. Let's see, we got, there's another filter of the phantom. And let's check the satchel real quick. So this stuff all belongs to Wendelius, so I don't feel bad taking it. And we have Wendelius's journal. Now this is actually an interesting journal to read through and explain what he's been doing. So, Morningstar, I've set up a camp inside the barrow. This has to be the place. According to all my research, the burial chamber should be located here. All I need is some time undisturbed to find the claw. It must be hidden here somewhere. Okay, so he clearly understood he needed the claw to open up the secondary door in the Hall of Stories here. Morning's uh, next, next date listed. I'm not even going to try to attempt to decipher that. Had a close call today with that fool Win Wilhelm. Sorry. He came close to entering the barrow, but I was able to scare him off by rattling some pottery shards in a bag. Okay. These people are far too su superstitious for their own good. Gives me an idea. After a few failures, I've come up with a mixture that should do the trick. The glow is perfect. I should look exactly like one of the supposed spirits the people of Iverstead believe is haunting this barrow. Going to test this out tomorrow. Okay, so he, he developed the, or he perfected the uh, spectral potion. And then on the next date, success. It worked better than I could have imagined. All I had to do was wander about the entrance to the barrow at night and wave my arms about. I had to stop myself from laughing aloud as they as they ran away. This should keep them at bay while I continue searching for the claw. Almost half a year has passed and no sign of the claw and any clues as to its whereabouts. This is becoming maddening. It has to be here. Can't risk hiring any assistance, so I'll have to continue alone. So he's been here for a half a year. It isn't here. It can't be here. This isn't right. It must be the people of Iverset. They must be on to my ruse and they're toying with me. They want to find the burial chamber on their own and keep the riches for themselves. So he's starting to go a little bit crazy. Why? Why are they tormenting me? Why are they destroying me? Why are they tormenting me? Why not just destroy me? I'm who I am. My head is becoming clouded. I can't remember anything. I have to read the journal just to remember my purpose. Am I part of this tomb? Am I meant to guard it? What's becoming of me? Okay, so now he officially feels like he lives here, or he's here and he's potentially one of the dead. They shall not take my treasure. They shall all pay dearly for their crimes. Any who set foot within these walls will taste my wrath, my power. I am the guardian of Shroud Hearth Barrow. All who oppose me will fall. So he's completely forgot his purpose at this point and doesn't even know why he's there. He just knows that he has to uh, defeat anybody who's uh, who comes in here, which is quite fascinating. All right, really quick here, I got some Potion of Magicka, good to have, and well, with that in mind, let's try and do some potioning, see if we can clear out some inventory. Unfortunately, don't have the ingredients for restore health, that's, that's sad. Uh, I can do some Fortified Conjurations, which should maybe bring down carry weight, I don't know. And we'll do some damage health, or at least one damage health, I guess, and uh, we'll sell that later. Okay, so now that we have this information, we're going to take it back to the innkeeper, who I believe is Windhelm, or Wilhelm. Wilhelm? Helm? Hem? Not sure. Even though this quest is so simple, I just love the, that journal. I love the, the little development of uh, Windelius' character that you get to read about. And when you defeat him in that first interaction there, uh, you know, you think he's just, you know, assaulting you be, in, in terms of defending the barrow and his treasure, but he's actually, he thinks he's part of it, which is kind of cool. 
Okay, now we got the option to tell him I found this in Shroud Hearth Burrow and we'll give him the journal. Let me see that. I can't believe this. And apparently he's a speed reader. It's all just a fabrication of this Windelius character. I can't believe we were so stupid. If it makes you feel any better, the guy went least crazy. All I can do is give you something for taking care of him. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a gift. And he gives you the Sapphire Dragon Claw. So, now, we, unlike Wendelius, have the... Oh, excuse me, ma'am, sorry. Okay, and now we're back into the burrow at the Hall, at the hall of Stories. And, uh, yeah, we can see... Uh, that looks, honestly, like the... Uh, doesn't that look like it would be the Wolf Queen? I've never actually taken the time to look at these. I'm not sure who this is. Are these, like, are these depictions of the gods? I'm not sure. Okay, so first things first, we just need to figure out what the order of operations is here. So let's go ahead and take a look. We have moth, owl, wolf. We just need, we don't need to change the middle one, it looks like. Moth, owl, owl, one more spin here. And we should be good to go ahead and open this up. Sapphire Claw. And into the rest of the barrel we go. Now I don't remember exactly what's in here, to be perfectly honest. Uh, why am I carrying too much now? What happened? Some kind of strange sorcery. I was at 170 at a 170 carry weight, and it decided, or the game decided, it's time for you to be over encumbered again. So that's apparently what happened. Make sure my health is topped off, and we'll go ahead and head in this room. Genesa, go ahead and follow closely behind. There is, what is this? Oh, oak flesh, okay. We don't need that. But um, if I'm not mistaken, Yes, this is just triggered automatically, and then we get some draugers. So, let's go ahead and quickly throw up some oak flesh so that we're ready to take on these guys. Grab our shield and help out Genesa with some quick hits. This guy is a basic, nice and easy. Who else we got? This guy is a basic archer, so we'll get right up on him. Get some good hits in. One handed up. He's dead. Looks like, yes, we got a few more. Oh, we got a restless. Okay. So, let's be strategic here. We'll help with the easy guys. They're down. I'm coming, Genesa. Oh, he shouldn't be too hard to take down. We've taken down enough restless before. It's not going to be a challenge. So, he's down. And first room cleared nice and easy. And we've got a lever in this little outcove to allow us to get through to the next room. Make sure we do some quick healing. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, didn't know that was going to fall. What's down here? We got coin purse. Interesting. Anything, anything else? We've got uh, a shield. I don't need, and a greatsword. So apparently this adventurer, um, <laughs> yeah, who's that? Is that? A skeleton trying to find us? Okay, let's go ahead and get out of here. Where's that? Was that, Genesis, was that you up there? Okay. Health is fine. Oak flesh. Alteration is up. What do we got here? Uh, iron door. What is this? Why does it keep going up? I don't remember this. And at the top, we've got... Ooh, Master. I'm probably gonna waste 800 lockpicks that I don't have on that, so... Uh, we'll just have to go through this one. And I hear the skeleton. I don't see it yet. I'm gonna experiment with turn lesser undead. And... He runs away now. Okay, that's cool. Where does he go to? Also, I know there's a booby trap there that Genesa will in inevitably step on. Okay, so the skeleton ran away. That's good. Not sure where they went. So, maybe not the most useful thing in the world. 
go ahead and top off the health. And we've got tons of skeletons over here. Now, normally I would just shoot the, the things up there and they would all burn and die, but uh, we don't have that luxury because um, we're not a coward with a bow. So, oops, didn't want to take the potion. That was unnecessary. Okay, skeletons, coming for you. Okay, and we're not gonna die. We're not gonna die. We're not. That's not a thing. Not a thing. Minor healing potions. We'll just grab all those. And keep moving along. These guys are pretty easy. There's just a lot of them. So, why is the screen all weird colored? There we go. It's like a strange thing once I get too far in here. Now, before I get too far along, I'm going to head back up this side. There is, yes, a little lever here. Oh, jeez. Get hit in the face by a bunch of bricks. Uh, and then we've got a little room in here. Now, the potion of stamina I'll take. I do still, once again, feel like all this stuff was left for the dead. What's what's in here, just out of curiosity? Not a lot. So that's that doesn't make me feel too bad. Okay. And... I don't think there's any... Else. Oh wait, there's a, there is another switch here. Let's see. Oh no, that just uh, that just that just releases a dragger right. Okay, that's um, that's kind of a sneaky thing by the game devs. Bunch of jerks. Let's go ahead and give a big hit on that guy. Oh, okay. Let's see. I thought he was going going after me. He's just standing here, taking it, just getting beat up, taking everything. Doesn't care. He's like, ah, uh, I've already died once. What's it what's it to me if it happens again? Let's get let's see. This one opens too. Is it another drug? No, it's just a bunch of bones. Okay. Well, with a bunch like a full set of iron uh, iron gear, steel axe, shield, helmet, armor, boots. Like, yeah, you got everything in here. It's the Adventurer's Starter Pack. And there's a draught of strength in here which could be beneficial for carry capacity if I needed it. Okay. Back up on the other side, and yeah, we're gonna have a couple guys here. This is restless. So we'll be able to get out. Okay, he actually... Oh, jeez, these guys are hurting a bit. Um, who's, who is about to follow me? Okay, we got one guy with magic. Let's take a health po... Well, I guess I didn't need that. I could just make sure I heal up the good old-fashioned way. Or maybe potions are the good old-fashioned way. I don't know. Okay, so he takes a hit. Let's let's get on this guy since he's magicking everyone. Genesis got the other one, so good to split the difference here. Good. All right, he's gonna go down nice and easy now. Make sure we take the bone meal. I don't remember what potions those are good for. I want to say stamina related, but I could be wrong. And yeah, I think this room is cleared out, so let's go ahead and heal up one last time. Oh, this guy. Oh, it's just a basic one. No thing to worry about. Goes down easy. Silver ring. Okay, cool. A little bit of cell value, and I hear blades of death. Yes, okay. Maybe this place is longer than I remember. Okay, now let's try and sneak through and then immediately grab the chain to stop those so Genesa doesn't murder herself. And I think I've got a couple of guys here, so throw up some oak flesh. And yeah, this is a basic guy. He's gonna go down quick. This is also a basic guy. Gonna go down before he even stands up. And hallway will keep going, so let's just clear these. Get all of the gold off of them. Oh jeez. Okay. Got to got to pay attention to the traps. Going to end up turning into Jessina when we were in Bleak Falls Barrow. Okay. I'm afraid she's she's going to step on it. Oh god. Okay. Gen Genesa? Yes. Sir. Um need you to do something. Fine. What? Okay, I need you to go stand there. Will do. Good. 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 Now I need you to stand there. Will good. Do. 
Good. Now, I need you to stand there. And we should be good now. Okay, go, yeah, go get that guy. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Oh, that's a restless. Okay, he's on her. I can now get right up on him. Genesis taking out a basic one. She'll be fine. And I'll just get as much damage onto this guy as possible. Okay. And she finishes him off. Ooh, okay. Shroud Hearth Barrel's key. That's good to have. Now, I'm assuming there's going to be a locked door that we can easily get through. Oh, this one. Okay. So, yeah, we can just get right through there. Perfect. And the game has decided that uh, it wants to be cloudy again. Wait, is Genesis just waiting where I told her to go to last time? I think she is. Okay. Yes, follow me. I am the shadow at your back. I don't need you to be a shadow. I need you to just jump in on people and help me with the slashing and stuff. What do we got here? Okay, just a Eddie Soul Gem. Now I know up here there's gonna be a few guys. And I'm pretty sure there's a tough guy in here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, got the, yep, he's shooting nice bikes. Let's see if we can get his attention. Oh, Genesis just gonna try and go with the bow. Alright, you're gonna end up dying if you keep that up. Okay, let's see if we can get him to come out a little bit. Make sure we defense up. And we're gonna go after him. I have some immunity to magic, not a lot. We'll keep bashing him. Heavy armor. Oh gosh, okay. It's not working very well. It's not working. It's not working. Get the get the healing going. Genesa. Did you go in finally? She she did? Did she? Where'd she go? Genesa? Genesa. Oh no! She didn't go in. I don't know where she's at. Ow. There she is. Genesa, I need your help. I need your help. I need. All of the helps. Oh, jeez. There he is. Okay. Get a couple of... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Got a little bit of health back. And Genesis still just shooting him. All right. So this guy is apparently using the same strategy I am of shoot from a distance and... Uh, or not shoot from a distance, but get a couple of wax in and then go hide. Luckily, he's not healing. Genesa, I'm literally paying you to help me fight things, and you're just like, oh, I'm good, I'll just... Oh, jeez, he shot me. We could finish him off if you would just help me get up close to him. All right, my health is full. I could use an oak flesh. I wonder if turn lesser undead works on him. Of course, I need mana for that to happen. We'll just bring up the Shield of Solitude, because it does have the magic resistances. Okay, so we're going to hide behind the door here. See if when he comes out, we're going to ambush him. Okay, get a big strike in. Couple hits, couple hits. Bash him. Come on, couple more, couple more. We've got this, we've got this. Bash him again every time he tries to use magic. And we're gonna make sure that we grab a couple of potions. And he's down, yes, okay, good. He's in crouch mode. And done. Okay. Thanks for nothing, Genesa. Jeez. And he's actually got a soul gem filled with with the soul. So that's good. Coin purse. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of charging on this because I have the one soul gem for it. Now this is a little tricky because you got to stand on this to get things to spin. And so like, boom, that's a whale. Okay, so the far right is whale. That's an eagle. Uh, what's coming up next? This one over here. So whale, eagle, snake, whale, I believe it was. Whale, eagle, snake, whale. Okay, now we should be able to stand on this. And the door opens. Perfect. Now this guy here, if you get him to walk forward, I believe he triggers a trap. Let's see if it happens.
There's a couple of traps in that room, so I just, I'm afraid to go for it. I know there's this one for that. Yep. Jessica, go ahead. Go ahead and get in there. Get, ow! I'm... Okay, apparently my health is getting smackerooed around. Oh, she's gonna take him out pretty easily, to be honest. I'm gonna try and move into this room. Did I just take another arrow to the face? There's a door there, okay. And he said, yeah, there's this uh, court here, so we'll trip wire and there's a bunch of rocks that would fall. And they would they would normally kill him if he walked far enough forward. Let's see what's behind this door. Well, that was an easy one. Lock pick up. I believe. Yeah, so this is, I think this is booby trapped. I'm pretty sure that shoots fire. Trying to decide if I should take this uh, gold ingot or not. I'm gonna do it. Doesn't feel like an offering because it's booby trapped. Nobody, nobody makes booby trap offerings, do they? Not sure if there's more booby traps around here or not, but uh, longbow, magic potion. Okay, once again, you know, I am, yeah, the potions feel okay, because I feel like those were possibly left by the embalmers, not really meant for, you know, the Draugr. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and make our way into Shroud Hearth Depths. Oh, okay, I remember this room now. Yeah, I, I remember this place pretty vividly. So stuff will start popping out of these things. That door closes, yep. And easy skeletons to start with. Not much there. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right up to where this guy is, because he's got a bow and he's gonna start shooting us uh, if we don't take him out quickly. So you're dead. Genesis, behind you. There's a literally a guy right next to you. Okay, I'll help you out. Okay, this guy here. You're dead. Let's go get this guy with the bow up here. Unless Genesis just got him. Yeah, she just got him. Okay, cool. Nothing of interest there. All right, should be more. Where are the rest of them? Genesa, I guess because we're in combat, your health won't regenerate. So I hope you're not expecting a thank you. At this point, I never do because you're kind of an ass. Okay, get that guy, and my health is low. That is something I did not realize. Go ahead and top off again, and restoration level up. That's good. Okay, just some basic Draugr. Here's the one. The other guy's restless. Get that guy and power attack onto him. Quick. A few easy ones with some lightning damage. Okay, who's next? Got a couple more up top. That guy's got a bow. He's basic. And this guy's basic, so I can take you. Bring the shield up. I let you get that hit in. And he goes down pretty easily. Not sure why Genesa couldn't get this guy on her own. A terrible job, Genesa. Keep this up and I'm going to get you replaced. Alright, that is Restless. And this guy is... This guy's basic. Genesa, I got this one. You get the other one. And we've leveled up. That's good. Okay, let's make sure we heal. Let's get a big power attack. Some lightning damage. And he's targeting Genesa, so we are in the clear. He goes down, I believe. There's one or two more? No, one. Okay, just a big guy. And that's an overlord. Okay, so this is gonna take... Okay, he throws a shout in. We can shout back at him to give Genesa a chance to get back up. And he's gonna deal some serious damage... We gotta help out as much as possible. Ooh, never mind. She just got some really good consecutive double attacks in there. Oh, yeah, he goes down easy. That was not nearly as hard as I thought. Okay, and then we can progress into the last segment here. And I know there's a wall of power, or word of power, rather, 
Um, I just don't actually recall what it is. And there is a there's a trap here I know about. Get these out of the way, because apparently they are blocking me. Why can't I why can't I see the cord? I know there's a trap there. Alright, whatever. Oh, I'm still holding onto the mace, that's why. Okay, get out of here, mace. Uh-oh. I didn't want to do that. Okay, so there's a dwarven war axe of arcing, which is basically like the, sh the uh, axe of Whiterun, but a war uh, dwarven axe is going to do a bit more damage. So I'm actually going to take this. Don't need the other one. Uh, we'll take the gold, common soul gem, sure. And there's a dwarven shield, but I think it's the same as my shield as far as overall armor goes. And ours has the improved block and improved uh, magic resistance, so don't really need this. And yes, it was trapped. Poison darts, okay. I don't know how much carry weight Genesa has left over, but I'm going to give her now the Axe of Whiterun. And now I have the Dwarf and War Axe of Arcing, so I'm going to equip that. Don't know why I have Orcish Arrows. Um, drop that. Can I give her the Claw? I can. Perfect. Okay, That's sweet. Good. Now we've got... A new axe does a little bit more damage. This is all light armor. And let's go ahead and grab our word of power. I don't remember which one this is. And... Kind's Peace. No idea what that one does. No idea. And there's a sword over here you could grab. Um, I believe it... it uh, the, the sword you see on the end there actually depends on your level. So the later you come here, you can actually find some higher level swords that just spawn there. Uh, if you're doing smithing, it probably doesn't matter, because you probably already have better stuff. What the? Okay, and then... Yeah, last room we have here, just a quick chain pull, and we should go right back into the room when Delius was in before. Right through the end of here. There's... Yeah, it goes, like, right behind his desk, I'm pretty sure. Where we, uh, found his journal. Yep, right into this room, so we don't have far to go to make our exit. There's not actually a quest to return at this point um, <clears throat> with Win and Wilhelm, because he just gives you the claw and says, "Do with it what you want." Yeah, let's just go ahead and grab a room real quick. Are you Apparently, my room is still working, so let's just see what. I don't even know what time it is. 8 p.m. Okay, yeah, let's make sure we grab a full night's sleep. We'll just go. Um, We'll go nine hours so that it's 5 a.m. And we'll snag our level up. So I've been thinking about this a bit and I think I want to add another level into Magicka. We don't have quite enough skill in heavy armor to get the next level of Juggernaut, so we can't do that. Block is still not high enough to get secondary perks. There's a couple we can get here in single armed combat, but I'm gonna wait on them because I think I want to invest in some other things I've been forgetting about. Specifically, I want to choose between alchemy and actually alteration because if I can get alteration down uh, as far as the cost of spells, I'm gonna be way more efficient with my healing. I can get more oak flushes, and then eventually, once we get apprentice alteration, I can start having a bit more usage, or at least start using uh, stone flesh, which will give me even more armor than what I'm getting from oak flesh. So I think that's actually a good route to start taking. Let's go ahead and do novice alteration. Big improvement on uh, efficiency for our magic. Yeah, so this guy's mouth decides to not move sometimes when he talks, but I want to ask about High Rothgar. Clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. Okay. All right, and what you are... Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? Uh, yeah, you seem quite happy. My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilin, 
You have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. And isn't that all that matters? Okay. Anything you can tell me about High Rothgar? I always thought it was odd that there's a layer of thick clouds covering the peak of the mountain above the monastery. Huh. Not sure what's up there. But I bet the Greybeards know. I'm sure they do. Okay, with that uh, being said, I'm going to actually start the, the climb. Now, there's definitely a few dangers along the way making that climb up the mountain, so that's why I wanted to make sure I was refreshed and had a full night's sleep. I'll grab some food in a second here to make sure that we top off the stamina. And Klimek is usually here, I thought. But I want to talk to Klimek first. Was he in the inn? Because there's a chore he'll have you do. You can get a little extra side quest um, to help him out. I hope life's treating you well, friend. Clemex's house. Okay, so this is where he lives. There's someone down by the water here. Who is this? Clemex, okay. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. What types of deliveries do you make to High Hrothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Uh, Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Um, well, I could do it for you. I'm on my way up anyways. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here. Take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Okay. And, uh, is there anything I should watch out for on the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Yeah, you say that Other now. That, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. And anything else you can tell me? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Okay, so... Be careful up there. This is my only beef with the entire Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is... There's not really a lot that actually prepares you for this trip. It's really, really easy for the most part. And I think it is mostly dependent on level, on whether or not you find things like the uh, the little ice uh, wispy things. Um, there's some ice wolves, which are tougher than regular wolves. But other than that, there's nothing that's really challenging other, other than the stupid troll that is always there waiting for you. And as a result... There's because they just don't really prepare you for it, and a lot of people are low levels when they get up here. It uh, oh, I just walked right into that. Caught it, caught it. It's it kind of seems unfair that like people might get there at like level four or five, and then as a result they just get spanked by a troll. They had no idea how to fight. Oh, oh, and back to the earth from whence he came. That was interesting. That's what you call some uh, fast composting right there. Right. I don't know how fast this uh, this weapon is draining. Not too fast. So this one might actually be more efficient than the axe I got uh, from Jarl Balgriff anyways. Yeah, and there's the occasional goat, obviously. Completely harmless. You could kill him for meat if you wanted to. Or I think, yeah, so meat and, and hides. We're just gonna let them be goats. Don't really need the hides. Don't need the, the meat really either. Oh, that reminds me, I need to get some food. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a vegetable soup because I want my stamina to replenish. We can get some sprinting in. Plus, there's a bit of combat along the way here, so 
getting a little bit of replenishment is always good. Now, here's a, here's a thing for you. See how this guy's got fire arrows in his quiver. That's pretty cool. That's, uh, that's part of the Creation Club uh, archery edition. Random NPCs and enemies will sometimes have them. So you got to be careful on occasion because if an NPC has it and they start fighting alongside you and then all of a sudden they're basically have a grenade launcher, you can get hurt pretty fast. And oh my gosh, that's a saber cat. That was not what I was expecting. I have, yep. Okay, let's let's get him away and bash him. Okay, Genesis, I need help. All right, I believe it was me who just said there wasn't too much up here that would be challenging. But I also said I was pretty sure they might scale with your level. And seeing as I'm level 14, there seems to be a saber cat. And that is a little bit frightening. Genesa? Genesa? Where's Genesa? There she is, okay. Alright, Genesa. Let's get a little shakedown on him. Okay, he's on her. Perfect. Now we can get some big giant attacks in. Get the saber cat. Snowy saber cat. Die, snowy saber cat. Okay, and he almost partially returned to the earth too. Okay, these weigh a lot. I'll take the saber cat tooth and eat it. Delicious tooth. Hmm. And, uh... Yeah, okay. So let's be a little more careful and not assume that everything's gonna be really easy up here. Make sure there's no ice wraiths that are gonna sneak up on us too. Those guys suck. Ooh, snowberries. Take the snowberries. Any other snowberries? Have I been missing any snowberries? Oh yeah, that's right. It's gonna get cold up here. I totally forgot about that portion. Doing so well and easy on... Okay, ice wolves are a little tougher than regular wolves, too. Make sure we get some good strikes on him. Oh, yeah, he's going to go down easy. Good, 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 good. Okay, now let's make sure we heal. Oh, don't worry, guys. The trip up to High Rothgar is not going to be that bad. There's a lot of easy enemies, except for one troll. Yeah. I think I'm just going to keep my mouth shut from now on. I'm going to make sure we get some uh, oak fleshes going here, too. Oh my gosh, that goat scared the crap out of me. And so did that flag a little bit. Okay. It's just some goats and another one of the altars. Feel free to read these, too, as you go. They're actually kind of, uh, kind of cool little things to read. The etched tablets, there's, uh, I'm not sure how many they are, but this is the third one. I've already missed two. They don't give you anything, they're just kind of cool little stories and poems about, uh, you know, the Thum and the Dragonborn, I believe. I, I've read them before, I just don't remember, recall everything. Okay, I gotta try and keep moving as much as possible, because I'm only going to get colder, and... That's gonna really start to affect my max health, and as we get higher and higher, as this is like the highest part altitude-wise in the entire game, we're gonna we're gonna start to not enjoy it as much. Oh, and I love how Oak Flesh is just not taking any mana anymore. It's great. By the time by the time I need to replenish it, I'm already full again. So way more efficient. Great pickup on that last perk. Oh, and this guy seemed to have gotten up here pretty easily without having to worry about fighting anything. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. Yeah, we've been there, done that. Along with a spider and a saber cat. Wolves are the least of my worries, I feel like. Okay. I haven't found any uh, ice wraiths, which I find interesting. Normally, I feel like ice wraiths are fairly common. Okay, so this is actually the segment. Right there, he's actually on the, the top of it. Our good friend, the ice troll. Let's make sure we do one of these. Okay, Genesa, now, um... Not sure how we're gonna go about doing this, to be honest. Okay, he's already down on the ground, so... No, no, don't run away. Don't run away with your bow. I need your help. You have to help me fight the troll, Genesa. Why are you running? 
Why are you running? He's just going to chill there and tell... No, he's coming for... No, maybe he's not. Genesis not sure what she's doing. Okay, I need the troll... I need the troll close in order to fight it. Um, but Genesis is just going to shoot it with a bow, and that feels cheeky. So let's see if we can get his attention. Okay, we've got his attention. And... Oak Flesh is up. We're going to bring up the shield. Oh, he's dodging arrows. Genesa, get in there. Yeah, okay, he's on her. This is our chance. We gotta get as many heart attacks as we can. Now, as long as the air is cold for a troll, I believe they'll continue to gain health back. So we have to be careful. Genesa's already down. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, uh, we have to... We're gonna use the potions first. We're gonna try and shout at him. Boost! And then sprint past again. Now we need to get healing hands up as quick as possible. On to Genesa, and I'm dead. Okay, so we're gonna go for round two. And we're gonna count how many times this takes, Genesa. Oh, you've already got your uh, weapons out there. So maybe, maybe I try and hit him and use my mana to heal Genesa as much as possible. So let's get his attention as quick as possible. Genesa, okay, Genesa. Okay, she's already on the bow. That's good. Okay, so let's go... Let's oak flesh up. Good alteration. Let's go healing hands. And we're gonna see if he goes onto her first. No, he's actually going toward me. Let's stagger him. Get a couple of hits in. He's gonna hit her, and we're gonna try and heal her right away. Get another big hit on him. And heal her again. Get her up, get her up as fast as possible. Come on. Keep going, keep going. Come on, Genesa, keep hitting him, keep hitting him. You're doing good, you're doing good. Okay, let's get another attack in there. Oh, he's almost gone. There we go, and finish. Oh, yes, sweep the leg and into the face. Okay, well, that was easy. That was not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and take the troll fat. Look at that, Genesa. I didn't even have to take a single hit. Here, have some healing. My gift to you. Well, normally that takes me about six tries, and then I give up and just sprint past him like everyone else does. But, uh, yeah. Healing hands, doing wonders. <laughs> I think from this point on, there's really no dangers, and I'm gonna say that, and then there's gonna be like six saber cats. There might be some ice wraiths, actually. Could be mistaken. I think that's the easiest time I've ever had with the Frost Troll, even on this high a difficulty. Grab some snowberries. Snowberries. And now, if you look this direction, I always like this view specifically. That's that's Riverwood right there, and Bleak Falls Barrow. And then Helgen is out that direction where we first got attacked by the dragon at the very beginning of the game. So yeah, you can really see a bunch of landmarks from way up here at the throat of the world. And then out this direction, you should be able to see Whiterun, unless there's a giant cloud in the way, which there kind of is. Yeah, Whiterun is, yeah, right there, right there. There's Dragon Reach, right there. And here we are, finally at High Hrothgar. Really cool looking castle, by the way. And we've got a. I don't know who that is, actually. The final uh, little thing to read. Grab some snowberries. Over encumbered again. Food is just the easiest way to get rid. Dang it. As I was saying, food is the easiest way to get rid of over-encumberedness because I have a lot of food and uh, food is just necessary anyways. Okay, so first things first here, we're going to open this chest, which is empty, and then the supplies we got from Klimek, we're going to go ahead and just put them in the box, and we've completed that quest. We just have to go return to Klimek, and then we'll make our way up to our pr major priority into High Hrothgar. Now, once we get in here, we should be approached, yes, by our good man here. So, a dragonborn appears, a 
this moment in the turning of the age. How do you know I'm the Dragonborn? Um, I'm not gonna, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I'm gonna say, uh, you call me Dragonborn, but what does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Demonstrate your unrelenting force. Okay, so it should already be selected. I'm just gonna hit these pots. Is that not good enough? Do I have to? I have to actually hit you with it? I don't want to be rude or anything. You're, but you're a frail old man. Your shout will not harm us. If you say so. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Well, so there's a couple things to do here. This would be me saying basically, yeah, I know I'm Dragonborn, what of it? And uh, I'm following their every whim. This is, uh, I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. This is me kind of already also accepting that I am Dragonborn, but not understanding the meaning. And this is me just being dumb and confused, which I love. So who are you and what is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Oh, and this gives me a new option of just, I'm ready to learn, and I think... Yeah, I can go along with that. I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Okay, so our buddy here is going to let us learn a word. I don't remember how to trigger this. Do I have to stare at it? Yes, we've got it. All right, we've learned it. Learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of rope. So the same way to actually learn words by using dragon souls, they just kind of give you a freebie here, which I always like. And master your new thumb. All right, so I gotta shout at some ghosts again, I think. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. And the longer you hold down the button, you'll get the full use of it. So if you hold it down all the way, you'll use the full aspect of it, but if you just click it once, you'll only do the first word, which is something I've also really liked, so you can actually control the level of shout that you do. Well done. Again. Also, I actually took some of that guy's health. Interesting. Or did his health go down because he gave me part of his power? Maybe that was it. I never realized that before. You learn quickly. Once more. I think I've got it, dude. I don't know if we have to keep doing this. Yeah. 
Now I destroyed all your pots and just threw them everywhere. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. I appreciate the compliments. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Oh, I forgot I get both of these in this first interaction. I thought uh, I thought I didn't get the this one until after the next quest. Actually, I take that back because I need this shout that he's about to teach me for the next quest. Because there's a portion you gotta gotta do the sprinty sprints. Gosh, these old guys really take their sweet time. Oh, you want me to stand here? Now see how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you. Wold, which means whirlwind. Wold. Okay, got a new word on the ground. Go ahead and stare at it a bit. Absorb it. Suck it up. It's not working. It's not working. Okay, there we go. Okay, gift me your knowledge. We will see how quickly you can master a new shout. Okay then. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Wolfgar, okay, demonstrate away, Master Wolfgar. Wolfgar. Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Got it. Okay, first things first, let's make sure we actually equip that shout. Whirlwind sprint. We'll favor it too. Okay, I'm ready, boss. Open the gates. Open the gates! Wind. Nailed it. it. Wasn't that hard. Even Genesa was able to run through it. Did you guys make this easy on me? Your quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. Okay, so we've got the cocky answer, the kind of middle ground answer, and then the just kind of polite answer. I'm just gonna go, I don't know how I do it, it just happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Trial? Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Okay. The horn of Jorgen Windcaller. Yeah, who was Jorgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords. Master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Okay, and what is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Uh, only two options here. One is like, I don't buy it. The other is I'll try to follow the way the voice. Now, I will say in regards to being a paladin that wants to focus on divine following, uh, Akatosh and a few other gods are related to uh, the voice and as far as teaching man how to use it and the, specifically the Greybeard. So I'm going to say I'm going to try to follow the way of the voice. I'm going to do my best. That is commendable. 
But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Case in point, yep. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? He's better at explaining it than remember me. Remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh. That I can do. You will remain true to the way. All right, awesome. And I might as well ask him while I'm here, why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Um, I'm not going to be too bossy for info, so yeah, I'll just say thank you, Master. I'll continue my training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. And I think this is as good a spot as any to go ahead and end the episode. We've uh, gone and learned about uh, exactly who we are in this newfound destiny of the Dragonborn. We've met the Greybeards, and in this time here so far, we've learned... Well, we've learned one new shout and extended the power of our Unrelenting Force, which is going to be super useful for all upcoming quests. And, uh, yeah, so... Next time, we'll continue on our way. I think we're going to not quite worry about the Horn of Jorgen Windcaller just at the start with here. We're going to head our way actually east from here, so we're going to head that direction, and yep, you can see it right there. We're going to go to Windhelm itself. We've got a task to do for the Jarl of Whiterun to take an axe to Ulfric Stormcloak. I remembered his name this time. Everything is right in the world, and we're going to see where that quest line takes us after we make that little uh, delivery. So, until next time, I'm Kyle. This has been that one playthrough of Skyrim, and this has been episode 10. I will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>